Okay, hello guys. So this is the Galaxy A01, and it is using the latest firmware. Okay, the March 1, 2022. And in this video, I will show you how to root this phone using custom recovery and magis. Just make sure that you have follow all the instruction. Otherwise, you will get fail. All the files and instruction I will provide in my blog. So the link is in the description box. Okay, so stay tuned and check it out. Okay, hello guys. Assalamualaikum meet again with Tom Bob this time <clears throat> we have a galaxy a01 okay with the latest firmware okay let's check the system okay let's go to the system and let's check let's go to the about pawn <coughs> and you can see right here the code name is a01f okay Galaxy A01 and let's check the status information. Uh, sorry, and the chiffre information <coughs> it is using the Android 11 on one UI core 3.1. Okay, it is binary, binary <coughs> 5 if I'm not. If I'm not mistaken, okay, and it is using the latest firmware update, okay, uh, on March 1, 2022, okay, so we're going to try to root this one <coughs> using custom recovery, okay, as usual. Let's enable the developer option, go to the setting about pawn and so for information to the build number right here and hit five times you go back back again go to the developer option and you can see you can find the OI manual right here okay so we need to turn it on okay turn on <clears throat> and don't forget to remove all emails because if you forgot the will lock your pawn okay and then let's turn it off and after this we need to unlock the bootloader and from here uh the next step is we need to press the flow down and the flow up and while pressing the two button you need to plug the usb cable okay let's try it let's try it Okay, okay, you can see right here there's a warning, <coughs> and it said that if you want to unlock the pawn, you need to don't press the volume up. Okay, let's press volume up. Then there is a message again unlock the bootloader, the pawn will ask you, and Volume up, yes, volume down, no, so we want to unlock, so press the volume up once. Okay. Mm. Then the pawn will reboot it, and we will see a warning sign right here. The pawn with loader is unlocked. Okay, so we have successfully unlocked the pawn. So after this, <coughs> you can wait to the pawn to boot into the Android, or simply goes to the download mode. But I choose to wait till the pawn goes to the home screen. Make sure the bootloader status is successfully, and then we will continue. Okay, let's let's skip this one. And here we go. Now we are in the home screen. 
Okay. Let's just make sure that it's has been unlocked. Okay, let's go to the settings and about pawn like before so for information let the build number five times go back back again develop option and here we go you can see right here the om unlock is already turned on and become gray okay <clears throat> and after you finish uh unlock the bootloader it will format the data and when you go to the home screen make sure you connect to the internet okay by using the sim card or wi-fi okay this is important and after this you need to turn off again the pawn because we want to go to the download mode okay okay like like before uh let's go to the download mode okay Press volume up, volume down, and then plug the USB cable. And there we go. Because we have unlocked bootloader, so we, we just need to press the volume up once. Okay. Now we are in the download mode. Okay, let's switch the screen and in here i already opened the audience okay audience version 3.14 okay let's go to the option tab and check the auto reboot and copy the path where you have the custom recovery okay this is the custom recovery we are going to use let's hit the ap button right here and <clears throat> okay let's paste it and hit the start button it will start flashing and okay it's done now let's go to the one again and now we need to flash one another file okay uh okay let's reset this one and we're using the vbmeta.tar okay make sure you uncheck the auto reboot then we need to force reboot again upon and go to the download mode again okay <clears throat> force reboot volume it down and power button when it's reboot it's quickly switch to volume up and volume down again okay okay now let's hit the start button finish and we need to force reboot again volume down okay let's switch the screen volume down and power button and um, when the pawn rebooted quickly switch the power button to the volume up okay volume down power button and when you reboot switch from the volume down to the volume up okay okay let's wait <clears throat> actually you can insert the two file into the one file okay and here we go now we are in the custom recovery <clears throat> and now we are in the custom recovery again <clears throat> so this custom recovery doesn't support mtp it means that i cannot copy the file using my computer to the internal storage and it also doesn't read the sd card so <clears throat> the only option is usb using the otg okay so let's plug the usb otg and 
let's go to the install right here select storage and select the USB OT okay and uh, find where you copy the images okay let's select this one and okay I want to back up <coughs> file first okay let's go to the option enable compression for smaller size and then let's back up the FS maybe the boot also and the modem okay uh let's rename <coughs> the file backup file a01 okay boot the FS modem okay this is just for precaution Then let's hit the home button <clears throat> and let's go to the wipe and swipe. Let's wipe the Delphic data and cast. Okay, swipe it. The home button again, select install and <clears throat> select images. This is version 25.2. This is the latest one I'm when I'm making this video. Okay. <clears throat> okay actually you can merge the custom recovery and the VB meta into one file compress the two file using a tar format uh, but because I'm too lazy uh, I just flash the two files okay guys <laughs> yeah let's check the error message okay we can ignore this one then just for caution it goes to the home screen again select wipe and format data once more time and then hit reboot system <clears throat> and let's wait okay and now we are in the android wizard okay just hit next next and make sure you have connect to the internet and don't restart the pawn until about one or two minutes okay guys and here we go now we are in the home screen okay first thing i want to do is let's go to the settings and disable the software update okay it is important because if you have an update version of android it will uh, remove the root access okay so let's go to about pawn so for information let's enable the build number one more time this is just to show you that it is important important to wait until it's activate okay this option activate when you connect to the internet okay so make sure you connect using the sim card or the wi-fi okay after this is turned on we can install the magic apk Okay, I've already copied the file right here. <clears throat> and go to the settings, enable the permission and install. It is important to connect to the internet to enable the YM because usually when you install the APK, it will ask you to restart the pawn. Okay, like this one. Okay, you hit OK. If you restart the pawn without connect internet, it will make your pawn boot loop. So please take a note. And now the pawn has been restarted. Let's open the Magis APK right here. And maybe for the first time, it will take time. Okay, and here we go. Now you can see. Now we have unrocked access in this pawn. Okay, using the magic 
25.2 uh, on the latest firmware when this video when I'm creating this video okay and I hope you like my video if you find it very useful please give it a thumb and I also have lots video about routing custom ROM and lots of fun okay especially show me Samsung Realme Asus and other stuff okay uh, you can find in my video maybe some of the video will be useful for you okay guys if you subscribe it will make me excited to make a new video and that's all stay self stay safe stay health and wassalamualaikum